is the Northern California versus Southern California Wheelchair Team Tennis Challenge. Court number five, which is the second one on the right. Okay. Okay. It's never been done before. This is a unique event in California. We invited the top players in Northern California and Southern California to play on the team. So it's an elite event. It's an honor to be invited. And we have behind us here playing some of the best athletes in wheelchairs in tennis in California. We hope it's the start of many more. There are 12 players on each team. Two men's open, two A's, two B's, two C's, two quads, and two women. I'll just use the open players as an example. On the first day, two open players played each other in singles, and today we're playing the reverse singles. So they play the other person on the NorCal team. And then um, yesterday they played doubles, two open players against two open players, and today they'll play an open and an A against an open and an A. The difference in wheelchair and what we would call able-bodied tennis would be two bounces. The wheelchair player gets two bounces. And that first bounce must be in the court, the second bounce can be anywhere. The chair is considered part of the person. So if the ball touches the chair, the point's over. But the rules are all the same. There's no difference other than two bounces. The competition will play out with individual matches. Each match scores a point for the team. Three, three. It's three, three. <gasps> team with the most matches will win. We have a beautiful perpetual trophy and it has space for both teams' names on it. So it's a team competition uh, played individually by individual matches. I haven't lost yet, so I'm doing well. I won both of my singles and I won my doubles. Um, so that's good. Our team, I think, is down. I didn't look at the scoreboard, but I last I heard we were down. We kind of got wiped out. Men's B's and C's got wiped out yesterday, which sucked. Yesterday, it was tied most all day. We were only four points behind yesterday. Now we're looking at a deficit. Um, we're in a little bit of a hole, so we have to fight back today. It's still close. A lot can happen this afternoon because we're mixing up the doubles teams. An open player playing with an A player, a B player playing with a C player, and a quad player playing with a woman. So it, anything could happen this afternoon. It, the Southern California looks like they're in good shape right now. And the first day, then it's, okay. it's and then I play number you, two. You would play on both. The next day, you would. It's play. so much fun to be part of a team. Somebody else cares if you win. When you're part of a team, every match is important, and so people are rooting for each other who might never root for each other under any other circumstances. And it, it's a lot of fun. And no matter what happens at a team event, all the outcomes are good. Let's go, NorCal. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, NorCal, let's go. Yeah, he lost the first set. I haven't seen you for a long time. I think that that's great for the players and for the organizers as well uh, to be able to, to try to do it as a team instead of just doing it as, a, as an individual. It helps uh, everybody get it done easier, you know. We're not out here on our own, we're, we're kind of as a team. Oh, two. The thing that I love about wheelchair tennis is really cool that I notice is, is that the cultural divides kind of go away and like we're all part of the same crew. We're all just trying to get through the day together. So you'll find that like, you know, people pop a tire or whatever. Other people are pulling the tube out of their bag saying, here, dude, I got one for you, you know. So it's, uh, you know, just nice that way that we kind of help each other out. I'll spin it for you, buddy. All right. Up or down? Uh, up. Up it is. I return. You'll return? Yeah. Uh, I'll start in the sun. I like to be warm. Good match. All right, man, good match. We've played uh, probably in the neighborhood of 100 tournaments or, or close to that, you know, in 25 years of tennis to uh, to have a few chances to play against each other, so. Well, I wouldn't call it a rival, it'd be more a uh, rivalry. I, I look at it a little bit more a negative. We're more uh, friendly competitors. Uh, uh, the main thing is with um, Marty is that uh, uh, after so many years competing, um, we can uh, finally appreciate each other uh, as competitors on the court, um, where we bring out the best in each other. And that's one thing over the years, uh, I think, uh, at least myself, I can honestly say and appreciate that. Let's go, Marty. 15 left. The singles match was the, uh, the opener for me here at the tournament, and uh, we went 
into a tie break in the first set, so you knew that it was going to be a close match. And uh, it's good, Tony. I, uh, he got the better hand of me in the tie break and blanked me 7-0, so it wasn't much of a fight. But then I came back and uh, kind of dominated the second set and was able to hold on to that 6-4 after being up 5-2. So um, then going into the tie break in the end, we got the job done 11-9 in the tie break after coming back from 5-1 down. So really exciting match and uh, just a classic, typical match that Tony and I usually will fight out. He always used to get the upper hand, but uh, now that we're getting older, I think uh, I finally figured him out. and. Uh, I'm on a good streak right now, let's just put it that way. <laughs> the wheelchair player has no lateral mobility. That means they can't move side to side. So they have to turn and recover. And as you look at the wheelchair players out here, you'll notice that they it's all about turning. It's all about coming in back to the middle. A lot of the times they have their back to the ball. I had gotten stuck on the fence with my third wheel and uh, it was uh, in the chain link fence, has like this, and my back uh, tube tire got stuck in the fence. So I kind of had to like hop out of the out of the fence. And luckily, I had thrown something up like a lob or something, gave myself a little bit of time to be able to realize I was stuck and and be able to get off the fence. So it was a pretty good point, I gotta admit. Come on, baby! And who won that point? I think I did. I think it did. It was a tie break point too, so it was important. Even the fence is good. Yeah. Um, 15 left. Okay, we got some players out here that are in power chairs, and they're out there strapping their rackets to their hands. Uh, but but when the ball bounces, they hit the same shot that I do, and that for me is just awesome. On court six, which is the last one down on the right, we're going to have Simon. DeLeon and Dave Van Brunt. This is the first time we've ever done a, an event like this. And it's the first time I think nationally this has ever been done. It's going great. It's, everybody's having a good time. There's a lot of team spirit. It's really a lot of fun. What size, Jolene? My future hopes, and I know Annette Bucks in Southern California, are to expand this as an event. Potentially we could add other sections to the event. We maybe could ask an Arizona team to join us. Or there's quite a few wheelchair players in Utah, maybe they'd like to come down and play. What I would really like to see is, is if we don't expand, just people being really excited about making the team. It becoming kind of a carrot to make it onto this team. I'm happy with how it's gone. It really came out the way I envis envisioned it. I can see a few things we need to tweak. But that's okay. I'm a constant tweaker, so <laughs> you can always do some things a little bit better. This was the kind of like our our inaugural run, and I think it's gone very well. This is the first of I hope many annual competitions.